Good afternoon to you, YouTube. Josh here, Jay Stottlemyre, one channel, coming back with a video. Sorry, it's been a while, fellas, ladies. It's uh, it's been about a month or so. Life's just been hectic and crazy. Uh, I've had a lot going on, and I actually have some new upcoming videos to show everybody. But just got a quick one I wanted to put together just for some good content and uh, catch back up with my uh, my viewers and and whatnot and subs. So we'll take a look at a couple of Babe Ruth cards that I picked up. That I'm really excited about having. Um, I have a lot more to show coming soon. First up is a 1920 W516-1 card number one, Babe Ruth. I love this card. It comes in another variation where he's pitching right-handed. Um, it's pretty clean. It's an authentic, I think, dude, maybe to the small chunk missing. Um, the card's crease-free. You oftentimes see these cards, like I said, with him missing his face or whatnot. There's alternate variations of the face being pretty blurry and... Uh, but I love this card because this is his first year as a Yankee. And first and foremost, it still lists him and indicates that he's a pitcher. Um, these aren't the most beautiful of illustrations, but I'm really glad to have an example from 1920. They're pretty tough to find in any of the 20s. Not a hugely populated card. And like I said, all in all, this is a pretty nice example. Has a little bleed from the blue at the bottom and to the upper echelon of his body, but... Uh, it's a pretty neat card. Like I said, I just love the fact that it actually depicts the Babe pitching and pitching with the correct hand, meaning he's a left-hander. Um, one of the best pitchers of his time before he moved over to a full-time batter with the Yankees in 1920. Um, and next up is another really cool card that I like well, and it's also an authentic. It's a pretty good shape, and if it was cut just a little bit better here on the left, as you can see with some red border showing, um, definitely could have earned a letter grade, but... I'm fine with it, and I had a really good experience on this pickup. I picked this card up from Kit Young. He was a very, very easy to work with and just a great guy. It was my first experience, and it was good to build a rapport with such a um, sound and known person in the uh, in the community. Great guy. Like I said, some of the best customer service I've ever had. And this is from 1927. It's another clean card. There's no creases in it at all, as most strip cards of like back. But... Uh, I, th I think this is really neat being it's the Joker card. It's a hand-cut card, as I said. It's from 1927. It's the W560. There's a couple variations of this. One, it's more red um, with the picture. And one is more black and a little darker. This is the red, of course. Might not be able to tell by the camera, but it's the red variation. And uh, I'm doing a project with my babes. I'm trying to pick up a true photo depiction of him in each year from 1920 to 1935. It's a long-term goal, three to five year plan. Um, hopefully if all continues to go well with life. Um, but I really like this. And like I said, it's from 1927, which was a very iconic year for him, the 60 home run year. And uh, really excited to add both these cards and share them with uh, my followers um, here on YouTube. But it's good catching up with you guys and uh, sorry about such a long delay in videos. Like I said, it's been a month plus. I have a lot more great stuff to show you guys. I'm just trying to lay out a plan and presentation in order to appropriately uh, share, display, and discuss those cards. But again, I thank you all for tuning into my channel and hope all is well and thanks again.